Hey, hey! Oh my gosh, I just finished a uh, nice three mile run. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, I am Carly Myers. I am the founder of A Piece of Positivity Studios. Um, and what I do is I help women who are unhappy at work get their mojo back, make adulting fun. And um, I just finished a great three mile run. Um, and I just thought about this idea of self care versus self sabotage. And um, I mean, I could have very well this morning not gone on a run because I had this on my arm, right? I could have easily said, oh, I'm injured, I can't do this. Um, you know, my arm's gonna get too hot and this is gonna happen and this is gonna happen. And I think knowing the difference between self-care and self-sabotage is super important because had I not gone on this run this morning, I would have not, first of all, gratitudes, right? Because this water is gorgeous. I, would have, I wouldn't have seen this water and the, you know, the bridges and then I, I wouldn't have seen, there's like a, a public art installation here, which I've seen a couple times, but I got to see it again. And had I not gone on my run, I wouldn't have released my endorphins to be happier and more excited for the day. And I most definitely would have been laying my rear end in bed, getting that extra half an hour to an hour of sleep, but I would have felt gross. So I could have easily, easily, easily said, hey, I'm not gonna do it because I've got this thing on my arm, right? But instead I was like, this thing on my arm is not preventing my legs from doing their jobs my right arm from doing his job. My left arm, look, I still have motion, right? I can still run. So I wanna ask you guys today, and I've gotta actually literally finish my run. Um, I got another mile and a half to get home, but I wanna ask you, what are you doing? Or is are there things in your life that you're doing that are actually self-sabotage instead of self-care? Self-care can be hard sometimes. It's the difference between hitting snooze and actually getting out of bed and sleeping in for another hour, right? It's the difference between choosing a salad and choosing something else, right? So my question is, are you doing, are you self-sabotaging because you deserve it? Are you, are you disguising self-sabotage as self-care? And I want you guys to get real with yourselves because this morning I got real with myself and I was like, all right, it's time to get out and go on a run no more excuses okay so I wanted to share this view with you I wanted to share that idea and um, I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your Thursday as always I am here if you want to talk if you want to start the conversation about your life how you can make it better how you can make adulting more fun how you can figure out the difference between self-sabotage and self-care the whole nine yards I am here for you um, feel free to shoot me a Facebook message if you want to chat or you can go to my website there's like a whole little link thing there too <laughs> alright I love you guys thank you so much for joining me